Well, welcome everybody, Eric Brookhouse here, joined by SVSU men's basketball coach Randy Bruth to get you an update on Cardinal men's basketball. And Randy, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having us. This past weekend, team made a long trip up to the <laughs> Upper Peninsula, pulled out a win against Northern Michigan and Michigan Tech. First off, how difficult is it for your team to travel that far and, you know, get ready and be able to play a game? Well, I, I mean, it, it is what it is. You got to do it every year so you can you know, talk about how hard it is or whatnot. Um, but, you know, it could be the other way around. You could be Michigan Tech and Northern Michigan and have to make about 10 of those trips every year. So we're pretty fortunate we only got to do one. Okay. Can you give, give us a little bit of, you know, analysis on those games, the win against Northern Michigan, then the loss up at Tech? Um, I thought Northern, we thought Northern Michigan was similar to, you know, the way we played at Wayne. We were, we were solid and didn't, uh, didn't make a ton of mistakes, uh, guarded personnel uh, pretty well, and uh, didn't let, create a lot of offense and things like that the way we did the last time we played them at home and um, Michigan Tech um, you know we just we gave up uh, seven offensive rebounds I think it was in the first eight minutes and of those seven uh, three of them were threes uh, kicked out for threes so you give up a 13 to 2 uh, 14 to 2 you know run and you lose by 13 and so you're you're fighting from behind all night and um, you know we got a lot of things that were a lot better in the second half uh, uh, we controlled the glass. Um, we got stops, things like that in the second half, and and uh, the score showed that where it was 33-33 in the second half. So, um, so it's just a matter of you know we just can't have that bad start. Okay, you have a freshman CJ Turnage who's really been turning it on lately, leading the team scoring in quite mm -hmm. a few games. Can you just talk about him a little bit? You know how he's progressed along the season. Yeah, uh, he and and some of our other freshmen have kind of come along. I think. You know, hopefully come February uh, they start figuring out how hard you have to play at the college level a little bit and, and stuff and, and CJ's just been doing a real nice job in the post and in the paint and sometimes can be a difficult matchup for uh, normal back to the basket fives and things like that so uh, hopefully he can keep progressing as far as his effort goes he's learning how to play harder and and um, on both ends of, uh, both ends of the court so hopefully that can keep progressing here and, and, and dive into the off season. This weekend coming up, a couple tough matchups at Grand Valley on Thursday and at Ferris at home on Saturday. We haven't had a look at Ferris due to the game being postponed when we were supposed to be at their place last time. Uh, can you give us a little bit of insight on those two teams and into this weekend's matchups? Um, Grand Valley is you know similar to what happened to us when we played uh, we played them at home. You know we gave up a lot of dribble penetration uh, and then we and which turned into offensive rebounding for their bigs and. Those are two things we've really got to try to control this time. Um, Ferris State, um, have not watched them on tape yet. I'll do that probably on the way home Thursday night um, and stuff, so I don't have a whole lot on them. But uh, but with Grand Valley, we just got to clean up a few of the things that we didn't do well here and uh, and that they did against us in hopes that that can uh, kind of help us uh, manage them a little bit better. Okay, thanks, Coach, and best of luck this weekend for your team. Thanks, appreciate it. Yep.